Hey everyone, welcome to Joe Code. I'm your host, Joe Marisi. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'll address the look here today. It's, uh, it's glasses. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and say it's stupid, because it is. I look like freaking Mrs. Claus or something. Um, people are telling me they look good. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to my face. People last night at comedy store. Not swallowing your lies. Um, I've got a bacterial infection in my left eye, which is uh, potentially could have been serious, but it's not. It's in a spot where it's not in my line of vision. So it's all good. I just put drops in it and uh, it goes away. But I got to wear glasses for a week. Um, because the drops will glue your contacts to your eye. Oh, is that right? That's what I was told, yeah. Well, yeah, and then also your contacts, uh, you know, they absorb moisture and other stuff, so it's good to, you gotta let your eye have a, a break, so, um, but I'm not a, I'm not a glasses guy, and that's actually going to be my, this sucks for the week, is wearing glasses. Uh, I, I feel detached when I wear glasses. I don't feel fully here. Uh, I, I was trying to run yesterday and hike in the hills, and my glasses are freaking falling off because I'm sweating. And they don't stay on. They're kind of loose. These are like glasses from like 20, 25-year-old glasses. I had like new trendy black frame glasses but i broke them uh i like rolled over because i would keep my glasses on my bed and i rolled over on them and i snapped them whatever but uh here we are my eyes already feeling good i you know on the last podcast i actually was complaining i remember initially i was like my eyes bother me i think that was the initial start of it um, but that's enough of this shit. <laughs> Let's move on. It's gonna be fine. Just everybody deal with it. I wore a nice collared shirt for today to, uh, make up for the whatever. All right, I, I have a guest today, uh, I didn't ask him his intro. Uh, but he's a comedian. He's been a good friend for years, uh, I've worked with him at the comedy store. He doesn't work there anymore. He's now a paid regular. He uh, he has a podcast called The Big Humble that he does with uh, Morgan Mizzle. How do you say his last name? Mizell. Mizell. And uh, who is a server. Um, he's a waitress at the comedy store. Um, this is also a former roommate of mine. You've, uh, I know I've mentioned him previous times in the past here. And I think I've brought up some different stories and stuff. He was my roommate from January 2021 through November 2021. And, uh, haven't had him on the podcast yet. And uh, it's great to have him today. And uh, let's get him out here. Go get him. Um, just pointing to the bullpen. my stage manager. Um, <laughs> all right, welcome Matt Lockwood to the podcast, everybody. This is Matt Lockwood. Hi. Hey, Hello. how's it going, Matt? Ugh. Make yourself comfortable in the chair. You're a very Thank big you. man. Tall chairs. I like these tall chairs. I feel like I can't even see my eyes. I'm like a mop. Call, call yourself Mrs. Claus is one of the funniest things I've ever well, heard. Well, it's like... Can you break like, that down a little bit? I don't understand. Because they're like little... Oh, they're specs. Circle. Yeah, they're yeah. like specs. They're not like, uh, you know, like trendy glasses of today. I like a black frame Buddy Holly style. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't have that. Um, well, Matt, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. We weren't even roommates for a year. It wasn't even a year. That's it crazy. was uh It felt like a long time. 
Uh, but we were also kinda, roommates when really. we weren't allowed to go outside. Well, yeah, we also weren't doing anything. I don't remember what we freaking did. Spent a lot of time together. Yeah, I came back uh, to L.A. in January of 21 to a three-bedroom apartment by myself. So yeah. I had to find people. And uh, I was glad to find you and then Graham, our other roommate. So thanks for coming uh, coming on board. Yeah, of course. That was my favorite apartment I've ever lived in, I think. Yeah, it was fun. It was a great layout. Good layout, good situation. You brought the furniture. Uh, you brought the TV. You brought the tunes. Yeah. I mean, I had tunes also. But you were like, oh, I, I play music and I dance. What's yeah. all that about? A lot of dancing. Why do you like to dance? Um, it, you know, it's uh, Usually it's a, big guys, they want to take it easy. I'm not a big guy at heart, though. I'm a really little man. I'm like Vern Troyer at heart. No, you're not. I I have never felt like a big guy. Like I know I am. I'm a huge monster, but I've never like when I walk around, I don't consider myself big. Why not? I see myself as like TJ from Recess, just kind of regular size. What have you seen? Have you seen a freaking mirror? <laughs> yeah, I understand. You're I'm like big. six I'm like, nine. Because I also didn't get big till I was older. So I was like, oh really? I was pretty regular my whole life. Yeah, and I grew up around Dutch people who are all. The same height as me. Were you here when all my friends came out? Mm-hmm. And they all are the exact same size as me? Oh, yeah. They're pretty big also. Yeah. Everyone in my community was that big. That's the Dutch? Yeah. If you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. Is that what they say? Yeah. See, I, I have that tattooed across my chest. That's pretty actually. good saying. See, I had the opposite. I was... I grew up, you know, down by Mexico. Oh, yeah. So, so everybody huge. was tiny and I was... You like Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, Mexicans are kind of short sometimes. Yeah. Um, can sometimes. I tell my favorite? Can I tell? Yeah, most often. Can I tell my favorite roommate story from you? Yeah, sure. It's, yeah, we uh, got some good tales. Yeah, because we had a lot of time. We used to, uh, I used to have people over and throw little parties and dance and play music and stuff. Yeah, and you wouldn't ask. And there, were, <laughs> there was would, a couple times I'd have I people over ask. like you're the freaking landlord of the town. Um, yeah, you know, I, there's, there's, I have shortcomings as a roommate, I'm sure. One or two. Yeah, but you were great overall, but what were you going to say? What's the... Well, there's one time we're all drinking, and um, a lot of us had taken Molly. Yeah, you guys shouldn't be doing and, that. And um, if, you, if you've never done Molly, it's like it makes you feel the best you've ever felt in your life. I'll make you feel the best you've ever felt in your life. Sorry, go ahead. And uh, so we're all like... We're all on Molly and drinking and dancing, and we have, like, these lights going, and everyone's having the greatest time they've ever had. And there's just, like, a, a lull, a, a second lull, and Joe's standing in the corner holding a glass, a glass of beer, a glass bottle of beer. <laughs> and he just looks at us, and he goes, no more Molly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally everyone is smiling and happy and laughing. Well, because I think someone got the word out to me. Because I, I, I think I didn't know you guys were doing it. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want drugs here. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah, Molly's not really a drug. Because it was still like uh, National Guard on the street. Or I don't, I don't know if it was at that level, but yeah. it was still like, hey, things you're not supposed to really be doing a lot of shit. But yeah, yeah I was worried. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. That, that, I feel like that encapsulated our dynamic as roommates, though. Yeah, I mean, it was mostly fun, but I don't want to party after 2 a.m. Yeah. I mean, let's call it a night. You know, throw the drugs in the toilet, go to sleep, turn the freaking music off, because I'm the one that took takes the heat. Yeah, that's true. You had a direct line to Ely the legend. I, I'm, I'm like the parent around here. Our landlord yeah. would also, on the first of the month, show up at about 7 or 8 a.m. and knock on our door and ask for rent. Yeah, that was a little crazy, but... <laughs> I miss him, though. Yeah, he's a, he was a good guy. He's like an 85-year-old Jewish man. Yeah, I mean, right now I have... Uh, yeah, he's Israeli. I have uh, a building now where, yeah, there's not a whole... There's not really a landlord. It's like with a management company and then... Mm. Like, you put in a maintenance request if you need something, which I, I need one every month. Sorry, that's that's on you guys. Build a better building. Um, you know, caulk. Have you, do you guys know what caulk is? Caulk it right. I put in, I, I told them to come re-caulk the bathroom. Whatever, it's not my problem. You think come, they're going to do it? Uh, Seems like an insane request. 
No, because bugs crawl under the wood. I see them crawling under the wood. The caulk is supposed to seal the wood to the floor. Yeah. Yeah, it's not supposed to be bugs getting in because they live in the walls. That's where they like to live. Yeah. They're like, ooh, this is a fun wall. Have they recocked it? Why don't they live in the... Uh, why don't they go to the Berlin Wall and live there? The Great Wall of China. <laughs> Berlin Wall doesn't exist anymore. Uh, well, really. the Great Wall of China, if they want a wall. There's yeah. a whole big wall there for them. You know there's like bodies they need to be in- living in my wall. There's like bodies in there. Where? In the Great Wall of China. No, I didn't know that. They used to, the, the guys who worked on it that died, they would just bury them in the cement. Damn. Yeah, that makes crazy? sense. Same with the Hoover Dam. Yeah. Oh, word? Oh, yeah, Hoover Dam. I've been to Hoover Dam. That's pretty, that's pretty big. magnificent. Yeah. Because it's just a little bit outside of Vegas. You can take, like, a tour. That was our best impression of a beaver. I was building the Hoover Dam. Wait, what? That was our human... Oh, life. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because beavers are... They build dams. Yeah. Nice. That was a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, Bugs. That, oh, yeah, no. They, yeah. So I was saying the request. maintenance guy, also, he just shows up. Like, you put in the request, there's nobody texting you, like, hey, we'll be here this time. Uh, you know, there's nobody's ringing. I just get knocks on the door, and I get woken up. I'm like, I'm glad you're here, but whatever. Um, all right, let's get down to the goods. I've got a lot of notes here. Uh, let's start out with this, Matt. Uh, where do you stand on photo dumps? You know, like when people yeah. do a photo dump, like, for example, <laughs> July just happened. Sure. July photo dumps. Sure. Uh, if someone goes to, you know, like uh, Nashville, Nashville photo dump. What do you think of photo dump? I, I am a horny Instagram user. Okay. So when I look at Instagram, it's to see the women I follow. Photo dumps are usually, they usually start off with like a hot picture of the girl. Yeah. And then it's like a tree leaf and a, a cup of tea maybe a f- food item and so it's like if it's a photo dump of all pictures of you i'm for it but it's it's never that it's like that and then nine boring slides yeah and it's just a waste of my time okay yeah or, and if you do one put one at the end another sexy pic at the end yeah bookend it and then it's like uh, oh i didn't waste my time scrolling through yeah this. i mean i i like a good one or two photos sure i don't need i don't need a dump i get the uh i get the picture just a turd It'd be good for me, you know. Yeah. Or just put it in your story. I can click through that pretty easy. Yeah. I'd rather so. click than slide, you know? Yeah. This gets my thumb sore after a while. This is just... Boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you don't you don't want to... What was I going to say? Yeah, you know, I, I'm not a big photo dump guy. I don't do dumps myself. I um, I feel like I use Instagram as a like a dating service. Yeah, you can. I'm not really on the app, so I just be like, you know, you follow someone, they follow you back, you flirt a little bit. No, I don't do that. Wait for their dumps. Hey, I'll say this, photo dumps got me down in the dumps. Why? Stick to one picture. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need a whole dump. Um, You mentioned you had to do laundry. Do you... Do you pull people's clothes out of the dryer if you have to? Yeah, I did that the other day. Yeah, I've done it twice in a row, and I don't care. And Do you give them a, a period of time? Yes. I give them a reasonable uh, period of time, which is a time period of my choosing. Yeah. I decide what a timely fashion is. I, so I did it the other day. I'm the boss. I put them on top of the dryer. Right, that's right. And do. then I was doing another load the next day. And they were still there. So I, and they're kind of in the way because we got to use our phone to start the dryer and stuff. I put them on the floor in the corner. Put they, them on the they've floor. been there for days. I was like, you can't leave it for days. That's crazy. Yeah, you, that's you obviously insane. don't care about these clothes. So I put them on the ground. <laughs> don't tell them it was me. <laughs> on the ground. That's great. Well, because yeah. otherwise they're in the way. They're either in the way on the washing machine or they're in the way on the dryer. Well, yeah. I The we other night, I, I was in there when the person came in. Mm. So it could have been a thing. Yeah. Was it? But they were like, it, it was two girls, and the, the one was like to the other, because they had a bin, and I put them in the bin. Which is like, oh, somebody put my clothes in here. I don't like, I don't like people touching my clothes. And, I, and I'm there just minding my own business. Yeah. And like, they were in that dryer. I'm going to check the dryer. And I'm, meanwhile, I'm pulling my clothes out of there. 
and they didn't say they didn't say anything to me. They didn't even assume it was me. So that's how long your stupid clothes were in there. If you didn't think it, I was even taking your clothes out, the story doesn't even make sense. Have you <laughs> have you ever left you, stupid? Have you ever left your clothes? No, I'm considerate of other people. Yeah. I mean, I've had it before where, like, the timing, I mess up the timing, and so I have to leave with my clothes in the dryer. But whenever I come back, the couple times it's happened, I've, like, they haven't been pulled out. So I don't, I feel like I haven't inconvenienced anybody. We yeah. also have, we have eight units, and we have one washer, one dryer. Yeah, that's, I mean, I have, like, 40 units, and there's only two and two. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty stupid. Um, Matt, you're from Michigan. Why don't you show me on my hand where you're from? Be right. Um, Get out of here. here. Hey, you know what? A lot of states can do that. Not no, they can't. That. Yeah, you can. No, they can't. Yeah, you Illinois, have a square hand. Illinois is like basically that. Iowa, that's Iowa. To sure, a then T. do it. Then try to do it. Yeah, it is. That's Iowa. Tennessee. You're the. I'm the only ten you see. You could do this. Yeah. I mean, but you don't. We do. Florida, Florida, just like that. Florida, you can do with your. It looks like a. You dick, can use your dick. Yeah. yeah, you can. Mine looks like Texas. Your dick. <laughs> 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 but uh, it's like a yeah. fun thing we have. We don't have a lot. Yeah, in well, I'm stealing. We're better than your I'm fucking state. I'm stealing it. No, you're not. The bears suck, by the way. Why? No offense. Yeah. Okay. We'll see this year. last in the division. Yeah, we will see this year. Why does Charles Barkley have, like, demon eyes in that picture? He has no eyeballs. He's like, you had a bacterial infection, and they had Yeah, a... he, maybe he did. Why don't they make contacts you can just glue on and keep on? Uh, Why do you have to I, take them off I don't all think the time? that would be healthy for the eye. Why? <sighs> yeah, uh, because? I don't know. But it's like if they make if they if they like sew them onto your eyes, then there nothing can get in between them and your eyes, and then you're fine. You can wear them forever. Well, at, if you're doing that, you could just get eye surgery, like LASIK or whatever. Yeah. Why don't you get LASIK? I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't want to have another bacterial infection because I don't have. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't want to do glasses. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's annoying. Mrs. Claus. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Oh, Aaron, I wore, uh, so I hosted the potluck at the comedy store on Monday, and I wore my uh, pizza party jersey. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought it was fun. Yeah? How did how did the audience react? Yeah, they thought it was cool, because, like, we serve pizza at the comedy store, too. What so is it was that? like What's we're having our own jersey? pizza party. Oh, pizza parties are softball team. Oh. You told me you retired that I, that and then I, you came out of retirement. I, no, I used to be a part of it. I, I yeah, I, I retired again. So I'm I don't play right now, but it it's Aaron's team and he's keeps uh, it going. But I have the jersey, so you're like Tom Brady and Michael Jordan. Oh, thanks. They both retired and came out of retirement. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty cool. Um, Matt, what is your favorite fast food item or restaurant? Uh, both. <clears throat> I I have always said that my favorite restaurant in the world is Taco Bell. Oh, thank you. That's like two. What do you think of me? Yeah, no, that's the good. That's the right answer. I don't think any restaurant will ever be better. It's it's incredible. It's always good. Right. Um, Aaron, what were you saying when he said that? I said that's two in a row for guests. Oh yeah, that's right. Well said, that. Willie. Yeah, man, he's got good taste. What's uh, your favorite item? Since you mentioned that's it, that's hard. I wasn't even going to ask that, but um, if you've got one, we'd love to hear it. I like the cheese sauce. What cheese From Taco sauce? Bell to Nacho that's cheese. not a good. No, say another thing. Uh, you know what I had recently that was actually really good that I haven't had in a long time? What? Arby's. Yeah, I had I a beef and chad and some curly fries. I bet it was really good. It was good. bomb. Yeah. I was like, why don't I eat this more often? I would eat it. I would do that if somebody... Yeah, I just haven't thought of it. There's that one on Sunset. Yeah, that's the one I went to. In Hollywood. That's the only one I could think of. That's good. And, uh... I Yeah, I would do that. A beef and cheddar? Shit. Curly fries? You kidding me? Yeah. Growing up, my favorite was always Wendy's, but I feel like they've kind of gotten worse. No, I feel like no, the last couple I'm... times I went there wasn't as good. 
Well, their drive through can be annoying. But no, I, I, I think the food quality is still great mm. at Wendy's. And I, and I was a late bloomer to Wendy's. Okay. Growing up, we were mostly McDonald's, Burger King. I'm the opposite. I'm a late I'm a late bloomer to McDonald's. Now, McDonald's, their heyday, man, when they were in their prime. Yeah. I think they're still number one. I mean, they were Alabama for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I think they still are, though. That quarter pounder with cheese. Well, that's, yeah, that's a great sandwich. The french fries are the best french fries. Yeah. The McChicken. The chicken nuggets aren't as good as they used to be. The chicken nuggets used yeah, to be Yeah, I haven't incredible. had chicken nuggets in a while. Now they're kind of bullshit. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a fun food that I had that Ryan Mervis, who's a bartender slash comic, he told me about mozzarella sticks uh, dipped in buffalo sauce. Just in general? So, like, spicy sure. mozzarella sticks. Yeah. All right. And then you dip them in ranch. Both. You do double. You can mix. You can put hot sauce in ranch. It's like hot ranch, I call it. No, you can, but you the mozzarella sticks come, like, they look like wings, basically. From they, where? They, what are you talking about? Uh, we did that at... Uh, oh, you like, you, like, dip them and then cook them? We did it. I did it at Mel's. Okay. Yeah, they when were, they, they cook them, seventeen dollars. You tell them, yeah. You tell them toss them in buffalo sauce. Oh, you toss them. So they come tossed. I thought you were talking dips. Okay. No, no, no. Get them tossed. Yeah. Yeah. So they come out looking like wings, but it's mozzarella sticks. It's fun. You want to? You want to know what I do when I eat spicy food? It's a mouth explosion. Um. No. What do you do? I go like this. <sighs> <laughs> Because it, yeah, sometimes it makes your mouth all hot. And yeah, shit. it does. Yeah, uh, I don't know spicy food. Some people are scared of spicy food. They don't even get it. They're like, I can't. Is that spicy? I like it, but it does. If I eat, if it's too spicy, it fucks up my stomach and my butthole, and I can't eat. Well, I'm not gonna do too spicy. Like, yeah, yeah but yeah, if it's but like, then you sound like a like, pussy. If you're like, how spicy is it? No, but if it's flaming hot, there's differences. I think medium is where I draw the line. It's like. Sometimes I can do it, and sometimes I can't, but it will fuck me up. Yeah, me, medium can be hot. Like, yeah. I think it's Dave's Hot Chicken. They're, I know their medium's pretty hot. Like, any wing place that is, like, the hottest, I'll, I'm, I'll never getting that. Yeah. I got the Blazing Wings once in high school. I did that from B-Dubs. Yeah. Yeah, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. I did it once just to do it, and yeah, it was... Every body part you touched. Flaming hot. Yeah. Every body part you touched... If, if you do it and you don't wash your hands properly, like, you burn. wipe your eyes, you, you go pee. Yeah, you can't touch your eyes. Yeah. A little stingy willy. Yeah, don't touch your little pee-pee either. Sorry, I mean, Big call pee -pee. it little. Yeah. Um, so, Matt, we kind of had a similar path in the last couple years. Um, <laughs> yeah. We were both in L.A. We both moved to Austin for a minute. And then we both came back. You you moved to Austin for about two weeks, is Three that weeks, correct? Yeah. Three weeks. Never sorry. really moved there. It was kind of a trial run. Okay. Kept, trial my, kept my apartment run. and everything here. So the trial so you did the trial run, but you decided not to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Okay. Um I set my reminder on my phone to cancel after three <laughs> weeks. Did it and yeah. came back. Well, we're glad to have you back. I you know, I I, I like what we're building here. I know they're doing good things down there at the sure. Comedy Mothership, and, you know, we wish all them well. But I uh, I like what we're doing here, and I think uh, the Comedy Store, I, I think we have the ability right now to kind of create a new era there. Yeah. And I think that's cool. Yeah. It's a lot of responsibility, but it is cool. Yeah, it is, but... Can I tell you why I left Austin? Sure. Because it, it's this club called the Comedy Mothership. Right. And the rooms are called the Fat Man and the Little Boy. Named, <laughs> after, named after the... Named after you. Sorry. Named after what you do on stage, which is bomb. <laughs> uh, no, it's yeah, named after the, the, the atomic, bombs. atomic bombs. Yeah, yeah. But when you perform, you have to say, hey, hey tonight come see me in the Little Boy. And I was like, I don't really, that's not a phrase I'm comfortable saying very often. Wait, what do you mean you have to say that? That's what the room's called. And when you perform there, you go, hey, you guys want to come see me tonight? I'm, I'm in the little boy. 
Where do you say that at? To, to girls on the street or some guys at a pizza place or something. Hey, I'm mad. I'm a comic tonight. You oh, want to come see me? I'm being the little boy. Oh, yeah. It sounds perverse. Yeah, it's disgusting. So that's why you left? Yeah. I'd rather say belly room. That makes sense. Yeah, I like the belly room. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I think it's, I, I think it's cool. What's, uh, this? I mean, the comedy store is great. I, I love it. There most nights of the week. It's a more fun hang. I'll say that. That is. No, this the comedy the store, store. Yeah. You don't do as much stand up, but you have a better hang. Well, I mean, you have opportunities to get up. Did you have a spot? Do you have a spot this week? Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 12 midnight. It's early. Come see me in the little boy. No, I'm not the going. Origi- the original room. Yeah. Yeah, the original room is cool. Yeah. Best so, room in the country, it, some say. That's what some say. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I, I've learned to love the main room. It's a big room. Yeah. Um, the... You know, the thing with our rooms, though, people mistake those, people that come to the comedy store. The original room, the main room, because they're both very kind of general terms. Vague, yeah. Vague. So people will be in the main room. They're like, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to the main show. I'm in the main room. And we look at your ticket. We're like, no, dipshit. You're in the other room. You're in the fucking original room, dumbass. Tell them the fuck off. You know what my favorite room is? The dining room? The bathroom. <laughs> Why? Um, just like it's where I spend the most time, I think. Well, yeah, between shitting and pissing and showering. Yeah. Barfing. Yeah, there's a lot going on in there. Barfing. Coming. Why are you barfing in there? What are you drinking these days? Um, alcohol wise. I, I, I have been cycling. Um, cause you know, when you drink every night, you got to switch it up. Yeah. Take it easy, man. I've been noticing that. Oh, I, I, Was I'm, this an intervention? I'm at like two or three times a week. That's not much for the, com- for a comedian. No, that's not. But I feel like it's more than that. I feel like you're lying. This isn't, the, uh, I'm not the doctor. I know I'm wearing the glasses. I don't think I'm, I, I'm not lying. Okay. Maybe four times a week. I talk about it in therapy though. So we're okay. Um, but I switch between, I'll do tequila soda, which is my, probably my number one. That's my Taco Bell. Yeah, it's a little more healthy. If I want to have a fun, exciting, tasty night, I do Hennessy and Coke. Yeah, it's a lot of sugar. A lot of it's sugar. to make you very fat. So that's like, uh, you know, try, try to limit those. Yeah. But it is it, does, it is tasty. Yeah, I would imagine. And, um, you know, then I'll if I'm taking it easy, having a nice night, I got to drive home, I'll have a couple beers. Are you working out? Yeah. I hike. I try to hike like five days a week. Good. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, I hike and I run hills. And I have stairs in my Build apartment. muscle. That doesn't count. Yeah, it kind of does. It's more than you. What are you doing on those stairs? Well, my bedroom's up. more than me. My bedroom's upstairs. My floor. kitchen's downstairs. Oh, you mean stairs in the actual apartment? Yeah. Mean, like the building. No, no, no. In the apartment. What, are you sprinting up and down? No, but you know, you go downstairs, you get a hot dog, back up to the bedroom. Downstairs, get a bun because you forgot it, back up to the bedroom. Yeah, you need to do about 200 <laughs> rounds up those steps ward off the uh hot dog there what do you um let's see i think i we went through most of the notes here um do you want to do uh are you familiar with pie number food poontang pie no um what is poontang pie the, the rock used to say that i used to have a cat named pie no oh, really that's a cool name for a cat but didn't The Rock say that? Poontang Pie? Yeah. Maybe. An old re- That's an old wrestling reference back when they oh, were like dirty. Wrestling. I don't watch during wrestling. Like, that was during like the Suck It era. Yeah. Do you think they could get away with that today? Yeah. Saying Suck It? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but pointing your genitals yeah. with an X? Yeah. I don't know. I think you can. Everything's coming back, man. It is not. It is. We're getting like, unsensitive. Like what? Well, I don't want to say, but... I'm sensitive. Have me on next year, I'll say. Um, no, like we're doing a pie bracket. Um, we're down to the final four. All right. The East and the West Conference. This is for favorite or like for like... Yeah, you basically just pick the winners of... Yeah, Whichever you, you, you got to give a reason... Pick. 
why one should defeat have, the other. Have you ever had peanut butter pie? No, but that sounds amazing. They didn't even make the tournament. That is, they it, didn't. They didn't go dancing this year. It's what my mom used to uh, make me for my birthday. Sounds great. It's incredible. Peanut butter pie? Yeah, you get like an Oreo crust. Ooh, yeah. It's you make like a, a peanut butter mousse, put some whipped cream on top oh, of it, you freeze it. That would win this whole freaking thing. It's genuinely the best dessert I've ever had. Aaron, what do you think about that? It sounds amazing. It's incredible. It's a, it's like... Like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. But like gourmet as fuck. Jeez. Sounds delicious. What are the final four? All right, so the final four... Um, because I have to do all the work here. This guy, I think it was Evan, he didn't update the bracket. These people do this stuff out of the kindness of their heart. Fuck you, Evan. They don't get paid, and then they can't do their job that no one asked them to do. So it's annoying. Yeah. Um, You're annoying, Evan. <laughs> little bitch. No, Evan, thanks for doing it. Um, so the updated pie bracket that I have, the East Finals... Uh, is number one apple pie. Did you actually regionalize them all? They did that, yeah. Like where they're based, kind of? No, it's just made up. Can I tell you something that you think is probably going to be gross? What Dutch people do? Fine. A slice of cheese on top of apple pie. I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Bomb. What, what kind of cheese? Cheddar. Melted? Uh, if the pie's hot, it's nice if you, like... You know, it gets a little gooey. It's not like melted, melted, but I don't like, want it. Aaron, what do you think about that? That sounds like a real uh, sour cream situation that I don't want to be part of. Sure, yeah. What's wrong with sour cream? We had a big sour cream. Uh, it's one of the best thing foods here. ever invented. Def uh, sour cream Dave started a big thing where we, we talked about sour cream for about 30 podcasts in a row. We had a good run there. Of just putting sour cream on the most random of things, like sour cream on pancakes, which is actually pretty decent. I've yeah, had it. Yeah. And then uh, sour cream on pasta. Yeah, just on different things you wouldn't think of. Yeah. But yeah, no, the cheese, no thanks. But yeah, Aaron, we had Apple advanced, right? They won. So I have number one apple versus number three chicken pot pie. Ooh, hell yeah. So it's different, yeah. right? Chicken pot pie is the other one. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is going to be good because sweet and savory, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge dessert guy. I do like it. I love chicken and I like vegetables. Um, so the way this works is Matt... Um, it's a best of seven series, and you got to say who wins, you know, four games to whatever, and then just, you know, give some good reasons why, perhaps an MVP All right. of the series, if you want, uh, on any initial thoughts. Well, or? to me, to me, it's like apple pie is good, it's classic, it's iconic, it stands for America. I think it gets a lot of points just based off, like, reputation, because when you eat it, you're never, like, blown away. Does that make sense? Sure. I mean, I, like, I, if there's other desserts, I rarely go for the apple pie because, to me, it's, like, boring. Okay. It's, like, always kind of the same thing. It's not that tasty. It's, you know, apples are tart. Who wants a tart dessert? Well. Um, so I, I do feel like apple pie is overrated, but I also appreciate, like, what it's done for pie in general. It's, like, you yeah, know, Yeah, it's opened a lot of doors. It has, and it is, like... You know, they say it's as American as baseball or as American as apple pie. Like, those are two. It is kind of the baseball yeah. of desserts. Yeah, American Pie. There was a movie. Yeah. You fucked it. Oh, sh yeah. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, I tried. Was we, that an apple pie? Let's keep it fun? clean here. Yeah, it was an apple pie. But, yeah, we, uh, we don't want to get too dirty here. So, to me, it's like apple pie is like it's been here before. It's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be consistent. It's like, but is it good enough to beat chicken pot pie which is like i mean fucking a monster yeah it could be their year i mean chicken pot pie coming in at number three here i mean you know really packing a punch here. yeah i wish i could see who they beat to see what their momentum's like but um it was a previous thing but I, that doesn't matter this is made up so yeah but i mean take it's like i don't know <laughs> take it serious 
Uh, man, that's hard. I feel like I can find for you who they beat. If I was watching it as a series, I would be rooting for Chicken Pot Pie because I'm an underdog guy. They most recently beat Peach Pie, which is the number two seed. Peach shouldn't have been a number two. That's crazy. Oh, wow. that's why they beat him. Uh, fuck. Yeah. Man. And then who who did they beat in the first round? If this is best of seven, I think it go. I think it's it's like it, does Chicken Pot Pie have the talent to to just beat them, or does it go to seven? If it goes to seven, Apple Pie wins. That's my thought. Oh well. But Chicken Pot Pie could win in less games if it depends on how they play. Depends on like how good the Chicken Pot Pie is, you know. That's hard for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I think Apple Pie wins. Whoa. I think it's Duke. I think it's Kentucky. I think it's UNC. I think it's just a it's a good program. It's been around for a long time. It knows how to win big games. So you think four to three? You think it goes seven? I think it goes six or seven. But I think every game is close. No, not it's it's one or the other. I think it goes six. Wow. I, I mean, I, that's a really big turn of events there. But I, I think every game is close. Like, I, I think thought you were going with chicken pot pie for sure, and then now we just... Uh, I want to. Then you just caved. But you got to appreciate the, the how big apple pie is. I do appreciate apple pie. Um, what it's done for culture. Right. Um, You'll find... If, if you ask someone to bring pies, if you have a pie party... Apple pie is always there. Okay. When you go shopping in the pie section, the first one you see, probably apple. All right. Well, I'm going to say this. Uh, chicken pot pie has been in my life as long as apple pie has. I mean, I grew up eating chicken pot pies. I'd put them in the microwave, put them in the oven. Uh, I always thought they were fantastic. Apple pie, yeah, it's great. I've had great apple pies with brown sugar and ice cream and whatnot um and it hits home uh but ultimately yeah this is a battle but you know i'm a big fan of chicken i love crust i love the gravy i love the carrots peas whatever else you want to put in there I, I think chicken pot pie stuns him in game in seven games. It goes to seven. Chicken pot pie wins, going to the finals of the pie bracket. I'd be I'd be absolutely happy with that. I hope they win it all. I love chicken pot pie. Well, I want to see what Aaron says now. I disagree. I think apple pie. I think apple pie takes this. Why? Three words, a la mode. Can't do chicken pot pie a la mode. Well, I bet somebody that listens to this podcast <laughs> yeah. says we can. You definitely sure. can. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean that's a great point. But do I, they get? Do they play with ice cream? Is ice cream on the team? Well, I mean you could just kind of do whatever you want because that changes it then. If ice cream is on the team, they win in four. Aaron, what did you how, what did you say Apple wins by? I think it goes seven, and it's close. Okay. All right, fine. Apple pie. Dang. No, I want chicken pie pie to win, man. Well, then why didn't you pick them? <laughs> yeah, you just can't. You can't over apple pie. You just can't. You can do whatever. And I don't even want. like apple pie, but it's iconic. Listen, there's been bigger upsets on here, so. Yep. People get disappointed. I don't care. Hot chocolate beat coffee. What are you gonna Hot chocolate it? rips, though. Yeah, that's what I said. Shouldn't be coffee. As a seven is. seed. Damn. It'd be coffee at number two. Hell yeah. If it happens, hey, that's why they play the game. It's also, Matt. If, I feel like if we still lived in the Midwest, we'd we'd hold it higher. Yeah. You don't really drink it out here. It's too hot all the time. Yeah. You do but, burn your tongue and your skin. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Now let's do the West. Uh, also, coffee should have little marshmallows in it. No, that wouldn't that be, be good. Yeah, it would. Maybe. Of course it'd be good. All right. Just sugar. Let's do the West final, which is a matchup of low seeds that have been upsetting their way right. to the final. Good. Yeah, these maybe we could let you know who they beat. But this is, yeah, this is a fun one. 
So we have number four, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin's a four seed? Four seed, that yeah. That doesn't make sense. Well, that's they had why, a bad regular season. That's why they're here. Yeah, they, 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 showed up, they showed up at the right time. All right. Number four, pumpkin pie versus number seven, banana cream pie. Ooh, oh, boy. Pumpkin to me is it's similar to apple. It's, all it is is iconic, but it's boring. It's so iconic that it's, it's like... It's not boring. It's pretty boring. If there's a, a spread of pies, I don't go for the apple. I don't go for the pumpkin because I feel like I've had them all. It's nothing new I'm going to taste. If you throw a banana cream and a spread of pies, I'm like, fuck yeah. That colorful, fluffy... Nilla wafers? Are yeah. you interested in that? Yeah. Aaron I love Nilla wafers. My stepdad's favorite food. It is not. Yeah, it is. That, that's not a favorite food. What is he, three? <laughs> <laughs> Nilla wafers and uh, frozen York peppermint patties. That's what he eats. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. I never really... I don't think I've had those frozen, but that sounds delicious. They are maybe refrigerated. He likes yeah. them cold. Yeah. But, he, you know, he's just like a man. Um, God damn. This is a good one. Yeah, these these pies upset other pies. I think maybe like blackberry or some other stupid pies that we don't really know much about. There My mom... Chocolate. I think banana upset chocolate. Uh, chocolate pie? What's chocolate Oh, pie? yeah, banana beet chocolate... Something chocolate pie, cream. Uh, chocolate cream pie. Did you have a lemon meringue in there? Lemon meringue. Good, lost. I'm glad that shit's yeah, out. They that lost. shit sucks. Yeah, I don't want a crunchy, crunchy whipped cream or whatever. Nah, that sounds um, good. My, um, in Michigan, we have the best blueberries when they're fresh. Okay. And my mom used to go blueberry picking and come home and make blueberry pie. Yeah, blueberry pie sounds delicious. It's that, they, so incredible. Yeah, they lost uh, somehow because they didn't have my mom's. They didn't. Date, and now I they mean, never will. Yeah. Sorry she about that. died. Yeah, I lo- Yeah, we both lost our moms. Yeah. Um, do you ever dream about your mom? I haven't yet. No. Really? When she was alive, I did a lot, and since she died, I haven't. I I dream of my mom quite often. I feel like it'll come eventually. Yeah. For me. It's it's weird. It's interesting because yeah. it's like she's there. Do you wake up sad? Yeah, you do. I mean, you because well, it's like in the dream at a certain point, like. I always come to realize, like, this isn't uh, going to last. Right. But then there's dreams where I'll have, like, where I'll be like, hey, Mom, I, you're, it, uh, it's like, you're, it's like, I'll be like, you're, you're supposed to be dead or something. And it's yeah. just like there. It's just, and then I'm like, yeah, why, I'm like, why do I think you're dead? And then I see her. And then it's like, then I wake up yeah. in this world. Isn't that crazy how some it's dreams weird, you yeah. know are dreams and some you you can't tell right away? Yeah. It's wild. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've been having a lot of dreams where I cuddle with people. That's kind of nice. I think I need to cuddle with somebody. <laughs> yeah, I, I could go for that. I did, Halle Berry was in my dream the other night. It's oh, pretty crazy. Whoa. Yeah. Um, That's fun. All right. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go upset here. I think pumpkin pie's cocky. It's it's a four seed for some reason, which means they're not playing their best ball. I think banana cream takes it. I think they're the Cinderella. Put yeah, I mean seven seeds have made it. I've rarely had banana cream too that I didn't enjoy. But whipped cream is is one of my favorite foods. So, so what do you think they win by? Hmm. I think they win in five. Wow. I think they slap them. I think they come in strong. They slap them around. Pumpkin pie gets scared. Holy cow. It's not Halloween. It's not October. It's not fall. It's summer. I want a light, fluffy. This is this is banana cream season right now. It's summer. All right. Well, just for the sake of... Because uh, I think Aaron's going to take banana cream as well. I, I, I mean, just for me, with my experience with pies... I'm not a big pie guy. I don't have a lot of pie experience and whatnot. Um, I feel like, you know what a pie I've had is like pistachio. Oh, yeah. But, I don't, but that wasn't in here. I'm just thinking of pies. That, With the pu- almond crust? Yeah. Yeah, it's That's so good. good. Pumpkin is the uh, the most pie experience I have, and, I, and I've always liked it. I know banana cream sounds delicious or whatever. And I can't remember the last time I had one. I'll make your banana cream. Thanks. So I'm just going to say pumpkin pie It wins in seven. So whatever. 
Aaron, what do you think? Yeah, I'm going to disagree. Okay. <laughs> I think I think this is Banana Cream's why, year. I think why don't you guys a, get a room? BC coming through. It is the Cinderella. I think it's it's been overlooked, but now it's time. Cinderella, Cinderella. Was that what the mice sing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, I think it does win four to one. Wow. Well, five. Is two. that what you said too? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, gentlemen's sweep. I mean, they're just laying it down on them. Like the Pistons over the Lakers in 2004. Yeah, but you liked that. They swept them? No, the gentlemen swept them. Oh, four four to one. One. Why is that a gentleman sweep? That's I just what it's called. They should have swept them, but Kobe hit some crazy shot in game two to tie it up. I never heard that term, gentleman really? sweep. Really? That's a popular sports term. Oh, is that if someone wins game one, then you win four in a row? No. Yes. No, it's not. That's it's, what it is. No, gentleman sweep is when you win four to one. You like give the team one, the other team one. Well, game. that's what I'm saying. If they, but it ha- doesn't have to be the first game. I think it would, because then it's it wouldn't be a sweep. Well, it's would. already a term. We're not making it up. You can't just choose now. You can make up a new term for that. No, I, I think that's what that's it's called supposed a, to be. A Joe sweep. I don't know. I, I think I'm right on that. Well, I know for a fact you're not. But yeah, we can you know for the sake of this say you are. All it's right. your podcast. Well, let's do a let's do a Joe code for this week. I do a thing where I, d- I did this sucks early. I'm going to do Joe code, and then we'll do a, this is great uh, towards the end. And uh, so Joe code for this week is uh, living in a positive home environment. Uh, if you have roommates, you know, get good roommates that you're going to feel good coming home to, and you want the place to be fun. And I had that with Matt. And also Graham. So it's important to live with people that you get along with and, uh, you know, you share household duties with and respect each other and respect each other's space. Do you, uh, that is a very important part of life. You recently almost moved in with someone and then backed out. Yeah, I did do that. And, well, and we're both better uh, for it. Yeah. I don't know. Both worked out. Yeah, me and Renee. Renee, who was on here with... Uh, Zach and uh, Bruce, where they all impersonated me the whole time, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, because he got a big spot, I got a, I got my own spot. It worked out, yeah. And plus, it's a lot closer. I'm still in West Hollywood. That place was in Beverly Hills, which would have been cool to live in Beverly Hills. But what am I doing over there? You know, it, yeah. kind of, it would have been weird. Yeah. Um, what? Uh, you know, we used to go eat a lot. Yeah. Late at night, where are you? You're not eating. Where are you eating every other time of the day? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. But. Yeah, you did. How else would you mean that? Are you one of these bigger guys that's like picky with food? No, I, I'm not picky at all. I hate when guys do that. It's like I know you're eating a lot, so when you're out with me, don't pretend like you're not. You don't want to eat that because I know yeah, you want to yeah. eat everything. I, I'm not ashamed to eat. Yeah, don't be um, uh, fat shy. But I also have. I've been cooking lately instead of eating out. Oh, that's good. It's a. Uh, it's cathartic for me. Oh, good. That's good. Yeah, I used to. I used to cook a lot, and then I stopped because I started working in kitchens. When I first moved to LA, I was like working in kitchens and stuff, and um, that really takes the joy out of cooking. Oh, so yeah. So I come home imagine. and not want to cook anymore. Right. And got out of the habit of cooking. But Well, yeah, when we were living together, you cooked a little bit. Just a little, yeah. Yeah. Now I'm trying to cook, like, meals. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't cook. My dad didn't cook for 40-plus years until my mom passed away, and he just picked it up, and he loves it. Yeah, that's my what my stepdad's been doing, too. I mean... He, like, my mom always made him food, and now he's trying to cook. Oh, well, yeah, because my dad, like, has a chemistry background, so he just looks at a recipe like he's freaking making uh, soap. He cooks with beakers. Yeah. So, um, we have... I I can get to uh, some emails here, Matt. We have uh, we have an email. Uh, people, you can email the podcast at joecodepodcast at gmail.com. And like when I had Dave Wade on, he was like, "Oh, hey, you have people that email, huh? You know, what do these people have time to email? Like, it's like, yeah, Dave, it's building a fan base. Yeah, 
I love Dave, but he still has kind of like that alt comedy mentality of like, don't try. Hey, we're doing this for nobody. Oh, okay, yeah. well, how are you supposed to make a living at this, Dave? Yeah, it's called building a fan base. Yeah, email in, email your questions in or comments. Yeah, we do a lot of uh, emails are fun. We take a lot of emails here. Main topics of the podcast are food, beer, and men. Okay, and uh, my three favorite things to eat. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, you know, we know a lot about all those here. Um, and then also, don't forget, you could book me on Cameo for a fun time. What's your rate? It's pretty cheap. Like 20 bucks. All right. It's very affordable. Take home. What? So it's like oh, close to 30, but I only get like 20 take home. Oh, because I keep some? Yeah. And then you could join the Patreon for $2 a month at patreon.com slash the big humble. The Joe Code podcast. The Big Humble's your podcast. Yeah. We also have a Patreon you can join. Yeah, you can also do that. And a phone number. Well, let's talk it's about a fun that. Pod. Well, let's talk about that later. All right. All right. Shut up. All right. Here. So. Oh, yeah. We left off Christian at episode nine. All right, here's from Michael, our sitcom guru. Hey, Joe, I agree that That 70s Show is both a great and underrated show that I, too, grew up watching. However, once Eric left the show, I think it took a huge dip in quality. Yeah, we said that. They were grasping for straws at that point, like Fez and Jackie getting together. What WTF was that? And that Randy dude was a schmoll. Can't believe Donna got with that guy. He was obviously just a rebound after Eric dipped on her to go to Africa. It fucking fires me up, in all caps. Fires me up, though, when he shows up in the last episode. Just leaning against that Vista Cruiser like a fucking BOSD to claim his woman back. What's a BOSD? Big old shit dick? Yeah, swinging dick. Oh, maybe. Swinging dick. Big old, big old, big old sausage diaper. Yeah, I think it's big old sausage diaper. <laughs> <laughs> that makes the most sense. Well, I don't know what what is B O S D. I've never heard B O S D yeah. before. It's got to be big old something. Swinging dick sounds right. That's like a phrase. I don't think. Does your I dick don't. swing? Wear underwear. I mean, if you dance, yeah. But yeah, no, I yeah we I, yeah we, we agree, Michael. Yeah, the that '70s show. As soon as uh, Ashton Kutcher and Topher Grace left, just end the show. Yeah, he got just, left as that guy who was raping just, people. Just call it a night. Yeah, yeah. He can I say my take on all this? I I my favorite show is The Office, and whenever you say that, someone they're always like, "Yeah, but the last few seasons sucked." Right. My it's like duh. When you talk about Jordan, where you're like, oh, he was great, but the last few seasons, he wasn't that good. Right. It's like, I, it's not going to be good forever, dog. Yeah, we did have a sitcom bracket here that Seinfeld won. They beat Cheers. Ugh, how old are your fans? 70s? No, I have, what are you talking about? It's all Cheers? time. Cheers? Cheers was the second place? Cheers is a fantastic show. Who still show. watches that? Isn't that in, like, black and white? It was on there's from, like, like, 1980 to, like, 92. It ran there's, for, there's so many good sitcoms out now. Cheers. Yeah, but we're talking the classic old sitcom, like with the laugh track. It had to have a studio audience. Yeah, we're talking like uh, that. Yeah, the, like the classic, sitcom? the classic like network. So the TV, Office wasn't even in it. Like the network TV sitcom. Yeah, I don't, the Office wasn't in it because of the yeah. Dang. Right, Aaron. Yeah, because they didn't have a they didn't have a laugh track. Yeah. Or a studio audience. Big Bang Theory. No, they weren't in it. No. Wow. Could have been, but wasn't. What about uh, Two and a Half Men? That was in it. Um. All right, here's another one from Oliver. Ooh, man. Food poisoning from McDonald's is the subject. Hey, t hey sorry to hear that. All right, dear Joe, hope you're well. Thanks. I'm I'm doing okay. Writing in to let you know one of our country's most reliable establishments did me dirty last week. Yes, that's right. I got food poisoning from McDonald's. Prove it. Sorry, no. 
Uh, 12 hours spent next to the toilet changes a person. Yeah, I would think. Uh, Elvis Presley. Sorry to hear that. Uh, for instance, I always thought if there's one thing we could count on in this country, it's the consistency of our fast food, but no more. Where does it end? Needless to say, I have major trust issues now with not only McDonald's, but all other fast food restaurants. How do I give these American staples a second? Well, he said staples, like it's a freaking horse is going in there. But he means staples. Staples, yeah. A second chance. He means crypto.com. <laughs> <laughs> I need your advice now more than ever. Sincerely. What did I say? <laughs> sincerely. That's not what it, the word is. The word is sincerely. Sincerely is a funny word, though. Sincerely. I might say that on stage. Um, I need your advice now more than ever. Sincerely, Oliver. Yeah, Oliver, I mean, I, I feel like we've all been there at one point. I mean, if not food poisoning, for sure a bad experience. What does he need your advice on? Something that made... How does he get back on the saddle, basically? No, just eat it again. It's not going to happen again. Well, that's the thing. You're going to... So, Oliver, some time will pass... Uh, I mean, I don't know if you drink or not, but if you drink and get drunk and it's late at night, you're going to be searching for food. It's like calling your ex. And fast food. <laughs> yeah. Fast food might be op the only thing open, so you're going to do it again. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, you're going to be hungry. You're going to get the craving for it. I mean, let some time pass. Um, you know what else is crazy? What? Literally anything you eat at any point in time could be poisoned. Yeah, I you mean, well, yeah, and then the other thing, most food poisoning comes from, like, produce, doesn't it? Probably. Because, like... Stuff that's not cooked? Yeah, I mean, because it, maybe it wasn't the meat, maybe it was, like, the lettuce. I mean, oftentimes, it, lettuce it happens with, and... But, yeah, I mean, maybe dabble with another fast food place first, uh, if you're not ready to go back to McDonald's, but... Burger King is kind of back, too. Mm. It's a good sub. Yeah, they're kind of making a resurgence, yeah. it seems like. I haven't been there in a while. I, I I may pay them a visit. See, like, Burger King soured me years ago when I had it at LAX, which I, I shouldn't judge them for their airport one, but I just had a really bad Whopper, and I kind of held it against them. Mm. Yeah, a, ba a bad experience will turn you against the place for a while. Yeah. 12 hours by the toilet will really turn you against the place for a while. But yeah, Oliver, yeah, just give it some time. You'll be back. A uh, couple more here. We got one from Greg. Dairy Queen. What up, Joe? Greg from Minnesota here. All the Dairy Queens around... <clears throat> it's annoying. All right, what up, Joe? Greg from Minnesota here. All the Dairy Queens around me stopped selling twist cones... And chocolate soft serve. They only have vanilla. And I've never liked a dipped cone. Those are good. Get one. Dipped in the chocolate. It's becoming a problem for me on these hot summer days. Vanilla is fine, but it doesn't do it for me. What is your order at Dairy Queen? Boom, clap, Greg. Sent from my iPhone. I didn't have to read that part. Um... So when I used to go to Dairy Queen, I was a huge Blizzard guy. Yeah. I would get the vanilla ice cream because I know you can get you could get chocolate in the Blizzard also. But I would get vanilla with either uh, Reese's Pieces or Butterfinger. Those were always my top two. And if I did the cone, I would do the dipped one. Wait, not dip. What was the one? It was like crunchy stuff. What was that one called? That's you know what I'm dip, talking when about? When you dip it, it hardens. It's like a turtle. Not the chocolate dipped one, oh. but it, it almost looked like granola. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, is it like nuts? Is it peanuts? It's something like that. It might that may, maybe that is the dip like crushed cone. peanuts. I'm gonna look it up right now. I thought now, dipped cause... was when they do it in the chocolate and they pull it out and it's like crispy chocolate. Yeah, the chocolate hardens, but there's another cone where it looks like almost like cookie crumbles. Aaron, you know what I'm talking about? I've never had it that way, no. Was it like a crushed Oreos? I'm going to look right now. I was a Blizzard guy, too. We used to go, me and my friends used to go every Wednesday before we watched MTV's The Challenge at our house. The 
crunch cone. Okay, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, it's called the crunch cone. I never heard of this. Yeah, it's the crunch coat is a delicious topping consisting of... Yeah, it's sprinkles and crushed peanut butter nougats. Right. Whoa. Whoa. I can't believe you guys never had that. And they just dip it in and then you eat it on the outside of the ice cream? Sprinkles are underrated, too. See, th this is a picture of it, but... Okay, yeah, it was basically... Yeah, this. The Dairy Queen Crunch Cone. Yeah, it was like that. Whoa. That looks good. Don't you remember that? No. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was like basically like a crutch, crushed up cookie kind of a thing. People are people are going to know what I'm talking about. Aaron? It looks good. Okay, I mean, I can't believe you guys didn't have it. You could have fooled me. I was. I always went for the blizzard. Offense. Yeah. But also, guy. is it, this guy's in Minnesota. Aren't there a ton of ice cream shops there? We had a bunch in Michigan. Yeah, but hey, DQ. Yeah, but like ice cream shots are better than Dairy Keeping Queen, Keeping it old right? school. I don't know. Are they? Probably way more expensive. All right, here's uh last one from Adam. Our ice cream shop was called What's the Scoop? That's cool. You know what? I think my hometown had that, too, wow. at a certain time. Yeah. That's a good name. Yeah. There's always um, high school girls working there, and then my friend Stefan also worked there. All right, shout out Stefan. He's kind of metro. Okay. He rides the train a lot? <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, he's like a gay guy, kind of, but straight. It's called bisexual. No, metrosexual. Oh, okay. He, he just, like, you know, always looks nice and smells good. Oh, all right. That's good. Okay. Kind of like a woman. Now, uh, okay, this is from Adam. Uh, now, Adam says here, he sent two emails. So the subject is the Steve Irwin Memorial Sauce Bracket. It says, hey, Joe and Aaron, I started listening at episode 97. Thanks. And still backtracking, so unsure if you have tackled a sauce bracket yet. If not, here is my proposal. Happy for feedback. I'm from Western Australia, so I had to do some research in popular American sauces to make it relatable to the wider audience. Uh, so then he lists, he lists these, but then, okay, yeah, so he updated it with this. After listening to the most recent episode, I remembered you use seeds. Sorry, we don't have seeds, in quotes, in Australia. Frickin' America. Yeah, it is frickin' America. Okay, what do you guys call it? How do you grow, how do you grow trees? Frickin' boomerangs. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah. Anyway, here it is, redone and reordered. I, I like it. I like what he did here. I think these are, uh... What's the one seed? Can I guess? Sure. My If I was making the bracket, my one seeds would be ketchup, one. That's one. Vegemite, two. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, There's an East and a West conference. Ketchup's number one in the West. Ketchup's got to be one. I think uh, ranch has to be two. Then... I don't know how high must mustard feels like a two seed to me. Oh, I thought you were going to try to guess the other one seed. Yeah, I'm trying to. Um, You're not. Oh, there's only two one seeds. Yeah, there's uh, one through eight in the West and one through eight. Oh, uh, I thought it was a uh, four one seeds. No, no, no. Ketchup and then it's got to be. It's either barbecue ranch or hot sauce. You're not going to get it. It's mayonnaise. Not a dipping sauce. It's a spread. It's not a fucking sauce, dog. Yeah, it's how not is a that? Sauce. How is that number That's one? That's like calling butter a sauce. Or cream cheese, a sauce. It's a spread. You use a knife to put it on. All right, here. I'll, I'll give you all the... This guy fucking list. sucks. No, most... why Australia isn't a good country. <laughs> Mayonnaise? All right. So his Western Conference, he has number one ketchup, number two barbecue sauce. Yeah. Number three, mustard. Yeah. Number four, salsa. Not a sauce. No. It, it does mean sauce in Spanish. Did you know that? Does it? Salsa is sauce in Spanish. Oh, cool. I didn't ever knew that. Number five, garlic aioli. <laughs> okay. Number six, gravy. Not a sauce. Number seven, chipotle sauce. And number eight, sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Eastern Conference, number one, mayonnaise. No, not a sauce. 
But also, what what are we dipping? What are you dipping just regular mayonnaise? Some people in? do french fries into mayonnaise. Yeah, some people. I mean, mayonnaise is always mixed with something else. Like, that's what aioli is, isn't it? Yeah. Something with mayonnaise. Yeah. No, mayonnaise is a spread. So I guess mayonnaise in that sense, but... It shouldn't be a once Okay, so number two, hot sauce. Yeah. Number three, ranch dressing. Yeah. Number four, soy sauce. <laughs> number five, sriracha. <laughs> number six, buffalo sauce. That's the same as hot sauce. But yeah, kind of. Um, well, I guess hot sauce, you could say like Tabasco or... Sure. Okay. Yeah. Not buffalo. So it's a yeah, little yeah. different. Number seven, Thousand Island sauce. And number eight, blue cheese dressing. Wow, blue cheese is uh, having them... Uh, they're like the Deion Sanders uh, of food items. They were also, they're also in the cheese bracket. Uh, play a couple sports. Pretty My good. favorite sauce, not on this list. What? Cum. <laughs> no, uh, honey, honey mustard. Yeah. I'm a big honey mustard guy, and it gets disrespected all the time, and I don't understand why. Yeah, honey mustard's great. Yeah, I don't know. We I feel can, like half uh, of these aren't sauces. I don't like this list. I don't think salsa counts as a sauce. All right. Well, I, I mean, for the most part, I, I do like it, Adam. Good work. Um, I mean, we have, we have the cheese bracket if you want to do that. The cheese one is fun. Did you finish it already? Or no, new? we're in like the second round. Oh, hell yeah. I love brackets. <clears throat> the cheese one, um, which I Cheddar uh, gotta be one. will need to find. Cheddar's got to be number one. Yeah, it is. All right. Because I don't I'm have a- I'm a cream cheese guy, too. I love a cream cheese. I take cream cheese to the finals. Because we don't have a- I don't know if I have an updated- Are they still in? Cream cheese was never in. <laughs> why is not in, why is cream cheese not in but blue cheese is it? I don't know. It's it's, it's, uh, it's not a perfect world. Should be. Damn, cream cheese gets disrespected. Honey mustard gets disrespected. They peanut butter pie gets disrespected. Yeah, peanut butter pie is a, a nice. Uh, I get it though. It's not as popular, but once you've had it, you'll, that's all you can think about for the rest of your life. I don't have dreams about can, my mom who just I died. I have about dreams about things. peanut butter pie. All right, I'm trying to find uh, the cheese bracket. Because um, it wasn't updated. Mm -mm. Oh, here we go, from Joey. You like a good Gouda? A smoked Gouda? Yeah, they were in it. I like Gouda. I like Dutch Gouda. Dutch Gouda? Yeah. You know Dutch people invented braids? And slavery. Oh, okay. All right. So we have now, let me do this. Because I wrote it last week. Yeah, so it was Cheddar. Yeah, so first round, yeah, Cheddar beat Gorgonzola. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I don't even know what Gorgonzola is. Pepper Jack beat, F did Feta win? Whoa. Or did Pepper Jack win? I thought Feta won. That's a okay. good battle. Yeah, though. I think Feta won. That's a great uh, battle. And then Blue Cheese against Brie. Blue Cheese. Blue Cheese won, right? Uh, I don't know. That might have been a Brie. Yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't remember. Who's picking Brie? See, this is why I need people to update these brackets. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. And then there was Monterey Jack against Havarte. Is that how you that, say that's it? That's not how you say it. <laughs> Uh, are you Hawaiian? No. All right. How about this? Let's go. All right. I think the other bracket we remember: mozzarella. Number one, mozzarella beat number eight, cottage cheese. I know that. Damn, cottage cheese bangs though. And then there was number two, Swiss. They beat number seven, Gouda. Yeah. Sad. And then there was three provolone against six ricotta. Provolone won. Provolone Ooh. won that one. That's a good matchup too, though. And then there was four parmesan versus five gruyere. Parmesan. Parmesan won that. Gruyere's too high. Um. So now we could do. 
All right, so if one, two, three, and four all won in the first round, so Mozzarella would play who in the new, newly realigned bracket? The lowest seed? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we could do this for the West. Ooh. This, yeah, these are good. So, number one, mozzarella. Against number four, Parmesan cheese. Damn. Battle of the Italians. Damn. Uh, I feel... Um, uh, Man. Yeah, that's. I think tough. mozzarella. I think mozzarella sweeps them actually. No, no, parmesan. You just drizzle a little bit. It's a little light topping. It's fun. It's exciting. But mozzarella is like the base of the best food to ever exist. You know. Yeah, I mean, we're talking pizza. If you if you eat them on their own, you're not having. You can't eat a slice of parmesan. You can eat a slice yeah. of mozzarella. And the other you. thing too, which could be like. There's a chicken dish co called chicken parmesan. Oh, yeah. Which is really, it's nothing without mozzarella. Yeah. It's mozzarella cheese first, and then the parmesan later. So, mozzarella's carrying that dish. Yeah. Um, it's just much more versatile. It's a real cheese. Yeah. Parmesan is just sprinkles. I man. mean, I do love sprinkling parmesan on a lot of things because you could sprinkle parmesan on top of pizza sure but par and but would, mozzarella would you, is already, yeah would you have pizza with no mozzarella and parmesan or would you rather have pizza with no parmesan and mozzarella yeah exactly like so, i can live if i don't have parmesan yeah that's the thing parmesan's kind of just piggybacking what mozzarella is already doing yeah jumping on the pizza yeah jumping on the chick Jumping on the chicken. It's like Parmesan is the... Whoever is running Parmesan is from the coaching tree of mozzarella. Yeah. But he's like new. It's and, like a Belichick. Yeah. Uh, Josh McDaniels. Josh McDaniels situation. Yeah, that's a good comparison. I think mozzarella smokes them. I don't think it's... No, I wouldn't say that. I mean... A Joe's sweep. Nah, I'm going to say... I'll say mozzarella four to, uh, four to two. Because Parmesan on pasta, ooh, it really really does good things yeah it helps parmesan on soups i've had parmesan and minestrone soup Did you ever had mozzo mozzarella ball soup no it's like a famous jewish dish it's matzo which is short for mozzarella okay uh aaron what are you thinking here i think four twos i think four two solid mozzarella definitely wins it's a good showing from parmesan if they win two games because parmesan yeah, it's great in soups. I've had a lot of Parmesan, a lot of soups I've had in my life. It's a nice touch. Do you, uh, are you a craft Parmesan guy, or do you buy a block and grate it yourself? You ever have freshly grated Parmesan? Yeah, that's fun. You ever go to Olive Garden, and you do the tell me when to stop? Yeah. And you don't say nothing? Yeah, I don't tell them. You're just waiting. <laughs> I got a guy. It's a nice game of chicken. I got a guy still spinning the wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Told him he'd be right back. Yeah. <laughs> he needs rotator cuff surgery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. All right. Sorry about that. That was a stretch. Aaron, sorry. What did you say? 4-2 is good for me. Yeah. Yeah, I like 4-2. Okay. So mozzarella is in the West Championship. All right. Now, this one, uh, this is a fun matchup, I think, here. Number two, Swiss cheese versus number three, provolone cheese. Yeah, that's a tough matchup too, man. I feel like they're very similar cheeses. Yeah, this this is an yeah this is a interesting matchup. They're yeah. very similar. They know each other well. Yeah, you know they've scouted each other. This is like Bears Packers. I do feel like in any deli case in any deli case they're like next to each other. You know. Yeah. Same division, all that. Yeah. Bears Lions. Bears Lions. Yeah, it's more of a rivalry. Um, Swiss got them holes. Wow, so, yeah. Which is fun if you're horny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Swiss versus Provolone. Yeah, see now. I now I like them both like equally on sandwiches. 
Uh, you could do Swiss on a burger mm-hmm. if you want. I've had Swiss on a turkey burger, which is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I'm eating them alone, see now provolone has different levels of like sharpness to it. Yeah. Um, it's fun to cut off a nice sharp piece of provolone if you have like the little brick. Um. Swiss, I used to roll up. Swiss is great as well. I've got a lot of good... I like Swiss on crackers. I'm going Swiss. I mean, ultimately, it's going to come down to this for me. Uh, My deciding factor here is the Italian sub, which Mm. provolone cheese comes on that. So an Italian sandwich being something I grew up on and being one of my favorite sandwiches... um, you know, that just will be the MVP for me there, the Italian sub. And that incorporating provolone, because, I, I mean, there's no sandwich that Swiss is going to be on. That's not true. That's going to be better than the best Italian sub. I, I, I know you cheeses. can do Swiss with, like, uh, on, like, a nice pastrami. Aren't there multiple cheeses but, on an Italian? No, Italian sub is typically just provolone. I mean, I guess you could do more cheese, but not really. I mean, you could do mozzarella. I I mean, I'm in the same boat where, like, when I... Provolone's the main... Yeah, when I get a sandwich, I get an Italian sandwich. It's always my favorite. So, for me, that's the X factor, right? So, I'll say uh, provolone cheese wins 4-3 to in just a battle. They went to war. Yeah. I'm going Swiss because I feel like it's... Because it's, why? When you say... When you picture... When I say cheese and you picture cheese... Say cheese. Like a... Yeah, go If ahead. I were to take a picture of yeah. it. Yeah. When you picture like a cheese, like a cartoon cheese, I feel like you picture Swiss. I feel like it's iconicness. You know, it's it... It's kind of fun. It yeah. kind of helps to it. Wasn't that kind of what the... What is the Packer cheese head? It's like That's Swiss. It's like yellow, but it's Swiss cheese. Yeah. It looks cheddar, but it has like holes. Yeah, I think the holes make it Swiss. Okay. It's just like an aged. So you're saying, yeah, like a cartoon. Yeah. And you I know just what? think That's... the versatility, because when you say crackers, crackers and Swiss bangs. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. I don't know. I'm going to say, I think Swiss. I think Swiss and seven. I think they go to seven. I just think provolone is just a little more flavor. But it's, sure, it's Swiss close. doesn't have the best flavor. I'd agree with that. I'd probably rather have provolone, but... Okay, well... I, I just think Swiss is, like, bigger, better. Four to Fundamentals, three? yeah. All right, it'd be interesting to hear Aaron's take. For me, you said it earlier, it's which would you have on a burger. I'd do Swiss on a burger any day. I've never had provolone on a burger. Yeah, neither have I. Yeah, Swiss has burgers named after it. Yeah. You, you, like what? You get the turkey Swiss burger. You get the, you know. When you go to a restaurant, it says, you know, you have like the barbecue bacon ranch burger, whatever. See, now why? Yeah, because, yeah, provolone does I think really I think good. Wendy's has a Swiss burger. Mm-hmm. Mushroom and Swiss or something. Yeah. yeah. Now, provolone, yeah, you really don't do provolone on a burger. I mean, you could. You could. Why hasn't it been done? Who's not doing it? Because, because that cheese likes to be uh, provolone. It should, it should try being proved together. <laughs> so, Aaron, you think Swiss? I think Swiss and seven, yeah. Damn. That's a tough one. That is a good matchup, though. <sighs> All right, so mozzarella versus Swiss in the uh, West Finals. We, we can't do the East because I don't freaking know who won. Cheddar. I mean, Cheddar's going to win it all. Shut it's going to be Cheddar Mozzarella. Hey, I mean, they can't just show up. I mean, they got to still perform. Yeah. I mean, Cheddar is unstoppable. I mean, on paper. Yeah. But let's see what happens when they play. I mean, you know? Mozzarella will give them a run for their money, but I think Mozzarella Swiss. I think I think Swiss is tired from that last matchup. It was such a, a battle between the two. Well, we'll see. Mozzarella kind of skated through. Okay. All right, Aaron, let's get to some of our uh, new YouTube comments that we've got. And then we'll wrap it up, Matt. Hell yeah. All right. This first dude's taking a shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran MOPV. I don't know if I'm saying any of that right. 
Uh, hey, Aaron, you always talk about the environment and global warming and stuff. Do I? <laughs> yeah, maybe he's talking about other podcasts. I don't know. It's possible, yeah. I mean, we have ruined the planet. Um, or we're trying to. Uh, you know the biggest contributor to global warming, destruction of the environment, and pollution is animal agriculture, right? Uh, he says without a question mark. Uh, seems hypocritical of you to be sitting on your high horse every podcast about environmental issues. Again, every podcast? I'm on dozens. Yeah, Aaron, I'm getting sick of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk out of the studio and eat a cheeseburger. Uh, and that's the end of his comment. Well, to which I say, the frequency of which at which I eat a cheeseburger, which is you know, maybe once a week, uh, does not make me responsible for the entire beef industry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy's name? Kieran. Hey, Kieran. Shut up. Yeah. It's Kieran Culkin, probably. Yeah, probably from that yeah. show. He's bored since his show got canceled. Yeah. There's also a lot of other factors to global warming that, Succession. you know, yeah. it's major pollutants of major. I, I drink Coca-Cola. They are a major polluter uh, with their plastic bottles. I mean, it's it's insane, and no one really talks about it. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not responsible for all of it. I try to recycle, and I try to, you know, eat humanely raised beef or grass-fed beef if I can. But, you know, I'm not responsible for that. Thank you. I'm just trying, I'm trying to live, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, yeah, we don't really tackle those issues on here. Yeah. But. If anything, I'm saying about the environment and global warming is we can do more. Now, does that mean I have to become a vegetarian? Maybe. It's probably healthier for me anyway. Some but, might say. But, you know, it's not all on me. If it's all on me, then it's not on the big fucking corporations that are ruining the planet that need to be put in check. So I don't know why you're coming at a lonely podcast engineer. <laughs> but uh, Yeah, part of the, part of the problem is they... The they like try to get the people to feel bad about not recycling, which recycling doesn't even matter. They don't even recycle, but yeah. they try to make us feel bad and feel responsible for it. And it's not us. Yeah, exactly. None of it is us. Yeah, yeah, it's not me. If, if corporations did their part, they could clean up the planet. Literally clean. anything. Yeah, yeah. But thanks for taking it out on a guy who so, records a podcast. So, <laughs> so why don't you go comment that on fucking Nestle's YouTube page, yeah. Kieran? Yeah, go on Nestle Code and, uh, <laughs> and fuck their shit up. Uh, and then Meat Sack eighty nine says global warming is not a man ma is not man made LMFAO. I don't know if he's on my side or his side. No, that's conspiracy theory shit. Uh, but I don't know if he's. I don't know if what the laughter is if it's sarcasm or. He's or, like those old people that are like the the Earth gets hot and sometimes it gets cold. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. Yeah, we've yeah. only had the hottest summer in the history of the world yeah. uh, this year, but okay. Uh, Maui's on fire, for fuck's sake. Um, all right, next, uh, Brandon Tyler, he does his thing, points, you know, gives our time codes for our segments. Yeah, thank you, Brandon. And at the very end, he says, Aaron, I'm just kidding about making the trip longer. He was listening to Joe Code on a road trip and said he made it longer. Oh. Um, <laughs> he says, I still like you better than Gary, despite... You not getting my jokes. <laughs> Sorry, text is just hard, man. Text is hard. I'm sure if you said it out loud, I would have got it. Um, let's see. Alejandro Puente says, Joe looking shredded. Oh, thanks. Uh, Tyler Diekman says, Parmigiano is the king of cheese. Parmigiano Reggiano stunned at the Italian cuisine upset. Um, yes, they lost to Mexican food. Yeah, Mexican beat. Uh, Duh. Italian? Yeah. Duh. Well, I've, it was close It's not that. duh. No, it's duh. Mexican is the best food. Well, that's why they won. Right. Duh. No, not. It's not duh. <laughs> it's it was, like, it's it was fine. Seven games, I think. It's okay. It's like, Yeah, it's probably close. It's like, yeah, Italian we can food see is, that. Yeah, yeah it was good close. Too. Yeah. Mexican food is tough to beat, man. Yeah, I know. Taco Sheesh. Bell. It came down to breakfast, really. Like. Yeah, breakfast. Italian breakfast is not really a thing. What is Italian breakfast? breakfast? Eggs and I spaghetti. think someone said it in a comment. Yeah, there's a comment coming up, but it's, yeah. it's uh, not really breakfast. It's well, well, Mexican ain't really breakfast either. It's the, they're just their food with eggs. Yeah. <laughs> you just add yeah, eggs to something, can, Yeah, breakfast. but you can't do that with any other cuisine. Yeah, you can't do pasta and eggs. Like, There's breakfast pasta. Yeah, but... I've, right, had breakfast, I've had, like, scrambled eggs and mac and cheese once. That was weird. That is weird. But it was good. 
Yeah, Mexican is just too untouchable. Right. Yeah. Man. Let's see. So uh, I'm hungry. On episode 110, Ignorant Pi, uh, MSLI 253, says, Boys, the ignorance is unreal. Rhubarb is a root. It's better. It's bitter until you cook it and then becomes sweet jelly and a delicious pie. Blackberry pie is a Pacific Northwest delicacy. If you all don't have blackberries in SoCal or Chicago, it makes sense, but both are summer delights. Love the pod. Take it sleazy. Okay, you're the only one who knows it about rhubarb. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb pie my mom used to make. I think somebody mentioned that. Yeah, that was on the bracket, yeah, but we good. just don't have enough experience. Yeah, sorry, I didn't grow up on the farm. Well, it also, it is like, it's also got. tart. It doesn't like, it's not going to beat anything else. It's not going to beat fruit pies. Yeah, there you have it. Was pecan pie on the thing? Yeah, yeah was, I think that lost. Uh, let's see. Back to Willie Simon's episode. In no universe does blue cheese beat brie. I don't think you've had brie if you're picking blue cheese over it. So maybe blue cheese did win. Oh, yeah, so blue cheese probably won. I think that's a uh, duh, too. But uh, I still I still stick with brie. Um, brie would win. Over. Brie's for people who wear glasses. I do sometimes. You get it in like a flaky... <laughs> A flaky crust that you uh, you heat in the oven, oof, with some honey and oh, it's great. Oh, interesting. I like it, but I mean, blue cheese is everywhere. It's in salads. It's in chicken wings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alan Swanky says, "I've asked many a server uh, for as much blue cheese as you're willing to give me on many a salad, and one of my general food philosophies is, yeah, you can put blue cheese." You can put blue cheese on that. Nice work, Al. Yeah, I agree. Well, I can't do too much blue cheese, but I get it. I get the pe- I get the blue cheese lover. I know him well. Uh, Patrick Gregory says, "Love you, Joe." Oh, and thanks. The final Love you. comment is from Sky God Two Thousand. Uh, says, "Let me start off by saying Mexican breakfast is dank. Some of the dankest food you'll ever eat. However, Italian cuisine is one thing." that dominates the breakfast scene, espresso. Espresso is versatile, strong, used to create so many drinks, including Joe's favorite drink, lattes, which were also invented in Italy. According to Wikipedia, espresso and drinks involving espresso are considered part of Italian cuisine. That said, I want to initiate, with that said, I want to initiate a formal appeal to the JAC, the Joe and Aaron Commission, to reconsider the results of the cuisine bracket on this new information. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's good informa- information. Uh, didn't really take espresso into account, but that's not enough to get them over the hump. Mm-mm. No. I mean... But your your argument has been heard and silenced. It's like, yeah, they, they scored on that play, but Mexico, Mexican, they came back. You know, they, they still got their points. That's yeah, like a good sixth man. Mexican has, Mexican has beverages too, man. Yeah. They have sodas. They got horchata. Horchata. Horchata's Mica. great. Or- I'd rather have horchata than espresso. There you have it. And I drink coffee every day. Nice. That shit is good. All right. Is that it on the comments? That's it on comments. All right. Now, I got to do with this is great. Now, this is great is usually like a great food that I've had this week. Um, and I can't really pinpoint... Something new and exciting that I've had, Matt. Give me a good, exciting food. That Can I ask a question? Re- yeah, I drove. I was driving recently in Hollywood, and I saw. I don't remember where it was, but Potato Chips Deli. Yeah, is it a new one or they moved? No, that's a new one. It's but it's yeah, the same added, thing yeah, as the other. Yeah, we go to Potato Chip a lot. All right. Yeah, all right, I got to check that out. Yeah, it's a great spot. Also, Ghost Sando is another. Yeah, I love Ghost spot. Ghost yeah. is very good. Um, what have I eaten this week? Besides everything. <laughs> uh, so anything new and exciting. I mean, I was I was almost going to go in honor of Mex- uh, Mexican food winning. And one of the reasons they won is just, I, I was going to say enchiladas. Could be my this is great for this week. Yeah. I mean, it's really just a fantastic... Food. I usually like chicken enchiladas. That 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 red sauce on top, and then the melted cheese, is is just beautiful. I love that mild red sauce that they put on there. It's so good. And then you could put lettuce, sour cream, and it usually comes in three together. 
at like three together. I remember, yeah, my mom used to make them too. I mean, like a big platter of like chicken enchiladas or beef enchiladas. Oh man, yeah, you can't go wrong. And that's just another reason Mexican won. I mean, the best food I've eaten this week is also Mexican. I'm a big nachos guy. Yeah, and there's too. a taco truck by me that does. Maybe they're like third. I'd say third or fourth best nachos I've ever had. That's awesome. Nachos, nachos are crazy. Yeah, nachos are tough to beat. Oof, so good every time. Yeah, yeah, because I think they especially won. when they they fry the chips in house. Oh, so you get yeah. those fresh hot chips. Because I think they won our appetizer bracket. Good, yeah, so good. Yeah, Mexican food dominating. That's my favorite food, nacho. <clears throat> yeah, I mean. Yeah, I don't think there's an Italian appetizer that can top nachos. Well, mozzarella sticks, right? Mozzarella sticks, like bruschetta's great. Bruschetta's good, yeah. Burrata is good, but... Are onion rings Italian? Yeah. I like onion rings. They onion. gotta be hand-battered, though. Onion ring. I went to a restaurant... That's not, are they Chinese? No, nah, I don't know. Like, but, yeah, I don't know what that was. I went to a restaurant, and I ordered onion rings. They served me, like, this breaded, frozen... Just like the yeah, dog shit. Good. I'm like, don't serve that. Okay, you know what the best dipping sauce is with onion rings? Do you know? No. What would you guess? I'm gonna. I like to. I'm do, gonna tell you what it is. There is a right answer. I like to do barbecue or ketchup. That's or a ranch, it. But barbecue. barbecue. Yeah. I, I I can't do anything else. Wow. But it just complements it the so sweet. perfectly. Yeah. Barbecue sauce is underrated. Like ranch is fine with onion rings, um, and maybe kind of if somebody gives like a spicy aioli. But barbecue sauce is perfect. Yeah, with onion. Rings. Yeah, I'd agree. So I like barbecue sauce with fries too. I'll do when I go to McDonald's or something. I'll get barbecue and honey mustard. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, barbecue sauce with fries. Um, all right, Matt. That's uh, yeah. We got to wrap it up. Let's see where we're at here. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot for being here, Matt. Yeah, thanks for having it was me. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, we had a good time at the staff party, our comedy store party. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Joe's macking on some women. No, it wasn't. Did you get in the pool? You never got in the pool. No, you had because, shoes on the whole time. Because at a of pool my party. eye, I didn't want to go in the pool. You can go in the shallow. I don't want to with the bacteria. Sure. No, people are going to splash you and. You had some nice white shoes on the whole time, though. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's good here seeing you, getting to spend some time with you. Yeah. Um, let's uh, shout you out. What is your podcast? Or, or I'm sorry, your Instagram is just Matt Lockwood. Matt Daddy Lockwood on Matt Instagram. Matt Daddy Lockwood. Your podcast is The Big Humble. The Big Humble. That's on all the platforms. Everything, yeah. You can find us on YouTube, Patreon, slash The Big Humble. Yeah, check them out, guys. It's a great podcast. It's a fun pod. TikTok. Oh, nice. TikTok. Yeah. The pod is or you? The pod. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm not on TikTok personally, but the okay, pod cool. is. All right, yeah. So everyone, check that out. Um, and then don't forget, subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel for Joe Code Podcast. And that'll do it. Thanks a lot, everybody. <clears throat> uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you. This is Joe Code. I'm Joe Marisi.